screencast where we talk about how we can use custom keyboard shortcuts to be a little more productive inside of Android Studio. I'm not going to cover the typical keyboard shortcuts at this time because a lot of those are covered elsewhere. Some of those typical keyboard shortcuts do include such things as go to definition, refactor this, rename, move, and so forth. These are a lot of things that are built into Android Studio. However, sometimes there are commands that we use on a regular basis inside of Android Studio that we would like to automate with some other keyboard shortcuts that are not currently set to anything. One of those things that are that I recommend you setting a keyboard shortcut for are the is the sync project with Gradle files. A lot of times we'll come inside of the Gradle file and we'll add some, you know, some dependency here and then we'll need to res to sync the project with the Gradle file, and we'll click the button right here that syncs the project with the Gradle file. And we can see that the sync is happening, and then the bottom down here, we'll see that the Gradle build finished in two seconds. Now, I like to have a keyboard shortcut for this because I don't like to remove my hands from the keyboard that much. I find it to be much, much more effective, and I find it to be much more productive in the long run, even though it might be a second or two faster. Uh, a second or two times a couple hundred times in a week uh, is, you know, uh, maybe a couple of minutes that I'm saving here and there. Uh, it's just a productivity thing, and this is how you can set the keyboard shortcut. So what you want to do is go to Android Studio, Preferences, then you're going to want to filter over here, Key Map, and this will filter out any of the IDE settings. So select Key Map. You see it's already been selected because I was working with it before. We have the sub filter over here where you can choose Gradle. I'm going to type Gradle in there because we want to see anything related to Gradle. We're now going to choose uh, sync project with Gradle files. We'll right click on that. I'm going to add a keyboard shortcut. Now we can add multiple keyboard shortcuts such so we can enter a first keystroke and then a second keystroke and then it will enact the command that we're looking to uh, set the keystroke for. Now what we're going to do is for this keyboard shortcut we're going to actually just set it to command alt shift G and you see it's filled it in there as alt shift command G. And we see there's no conflict so that means we can use this keyboard shortcut. If you were to type another item in here, such as Command T, you would see that there's a conflict assigned uh, to the refactor this command inside of Android Studio. So we don't want to use this one. This is one we may be using before. So let's go ahead and hit Command Alt Shift G. We'll set that and hit OK. Now on the right hand side here, you can see actually in both locations where Sync Project with Gradle Files is located, the shortcut has been set. Let's hit OK. Now let's go ahead and pretend we've made another change, add another dependency. Or something like that. Now we hit Command Alt Shift G, and we can see that the Gradle sync has now taken place. Look in the bottom right panel, and we'll see that the Gradle build finished in two seconds. So now I didn't have to go up, hit on this button right here, and tap on it to perform the sync project with the Gradle files command. We can do it all via the keyboard commands. The next one I'd like to show you that I use quite a bit is performing diffs inline inside of Android Studio. A lot of times I may change a, lot of, uh, change a file or a lot of files, and I may need to see exactly what's changed locally compared to what's up on the repository, because maybe I've changed a lot of things and I kind of really need to see what's going on. Uh, and you can do that pretty easily inside of uh, Android Studio. So let's just go ahead and change this version name to, uh, let's change it you know, to 3.1.2 or something like that. Now what we can do is we can right click and we can go to, uh, Get, and then we can say compare with same repository version. And we'll actually see here's what's changed. Uh, since last time we have added these couple of dependencies and we have changed the version name from three from 1.0 to 3.1.2. The left hand sign being uh, the repository version and the right hand sign being your local version with all of your changes inside of it. And you can see the legend down here for the various different colors. So. To do this, normally I have to right click, go down to Git, or whatever VCS you're using, uh, and Subversion has this too, and compare with the same repository version and do some comparisons. Now, I would like to set a keyboard shortcut for that, so let's go to Preferences, and we'll go to the key map again. We've already had it, it's already active over here, and so we the same repository. So we can see right here, uh, I just typed in the, what I saw inside of the IDE as the text, which is the same uh, repository version is the text that I remember, so I typed it into the subfilter. We have the options here. Uh, I use Git, and so I'm just going to go ahead and go to Git and add keyboard shortcut. And then what I like to do for this is I like to think of the diff as a letter D. And so I'm going to hit Command Shift D, and here we see that there's no conflicts, thankfully. 
And so I can set this, this command to Command Shift D, hit OK. You can see it's actually set it for all of our VCSs, which is really nice. So it doesn't matter from here on out if I'm using CVS or Mercurial or Subversion or Git. I can use the same command for all of these. And so let's hit OK. And now inside of here, instead of having to right click, go to Git, find another command, hit the, click the button, I can just hit Command Shift D. And now I have my diff in line in screen. So these may be small little tips that help you uh, on your day-to-day -day development practice. Uh, but what you'll find over time is even though it's one or two seconds here or three or four seconds here, if you do these things multiple times a day, multiple times in, within every day of every week of every month that you're developing, overall, this adds up. And it, the more effective you can be, uh, and you'll notice that you start to develop a, you start to develop a muscle memory with these keystrokes as you do with most keystrokes to become much more productive in the long run when you want to start developing Android applications or if you already are developing Android applications. Uh, I hope that helps and we'll see you next time.